सो हे गाइज वेलकम बैक टू अनदर वीडियो सो टुडे आई एम शूटिंग दी ऑल न्यू रेनो क्वेड सो दिस इज द फेस लिफ्टेड वर्जन व्हिच हैज बीन लॉन्च्ड यस्टरडे इटसेल्फ एंड आई एम ब्रिंगिंग दी एक्सक्लूसिव वॉक अराउंड रिव्यू फॉर यू सो डू हिट द लाइक बटन फॉर दिस एंड लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द टेक्निकल स्पेसिफिकेशंस ऑफ दिस कार सो दिस कार कम्स विद अ थ्री सिलेंडर 1000 सीसी पेट्रोल इंजन एंड इज आल्सो इक्विप्ड इक्विप्ड विद अ 0.8 लीटर दैट इज इन 800 सीसी पेट्रोल इंजन व्हिच कम्स इन द लोअर मॉडल्स एंड वन थिंग स्पेशल अबाउट दिस पर्टिकुलर कार इज दैट दिस इज द क्लाइंबर वेरिएंट सो दिस इज द टॉप एंड वेरिएंट Uh, which is called the climber variant so it does have a uh, few tweaks like these orange outside rear view mirrors or these uh, the orange accents on the cladding etc so i'll be briefing you about that too so let's talk about the power output of this car so this car produces about 67 bhp and 91 newton meters of torque and the power figures are similar to the maruti suzuki espresso which i have shot yesterday itself so you can check out the video in the i button which will be appearing above so let's talk about the front load overview of this car Now. so this car has daytime running lamps so uh, if you uh, talk about the overall headlamp setup of this car so this has a very different kind of headlamp setup which is uh, which makes this car absolutely beautiful and stunning from the frontal end and this actually starts to look like a compact suv when you keep in mind the uh, body cladding as well as these daytime running lamps so this setup is somewhat similar to the um, uh, the modern age suvs which are uh, like the uh, mg hector as well as the harrier so Uh, the main headlamp has been placed below the daytime running lamp so this is the led daytime running lamp and this is the uh, conventional halogen headlamp setup which is a bit in the inside so it also gives it a production because of the cladding and the orange inserts on the cladding also look extremely beautiful and talking about the overall appearance of this car so you can see this is a compact hatchback so this is a, an entry level hatchback so you can compare it to the wagonar celerio datsun go s espresso etc which are its main rivals but uh, even the tiago the lower model of the tata tiago are one of its uh, competitors now having a look at the grill the car, renault has offered so earlier the grill was all black it had a plastic finish which did not look very premium but this Uh, this face lifted variant has these chrome inserts with this large renault logo with finished in chrome so it makes the car look a lot more premium from the frontal end and the look is quite bold and imposing so surely customers in india would uh, really like the quid and would go for it because of uh, its design language as a major part playing uh, in the in the sales of this car and let's talk about the low bumper so this low bumper has been finished in black plastic and it also has this um, this gray plastic finish with orange accents which is a part of the climber variant and enhances the overall beauty of this car so let's come to the tire size of this car so this car has been not alloy wheels but uh, these are uh, wheel caps which look like alloy wheels and have this gunmetal finish and these are 14 inch tires which are apollo so you can have a look at the uh, uh, the width etc so this is 165 17 are 14 inch wheels which are not alloy wheels but are wheel caps which look like alloy wheels and talking about the indicator placement over here indicator placement has been done over here and there is no indicator placement on the outside rear view mirror but this outside rear view mirror is uh, not body colored and is finished in orange which enhances the overall look of the car obviously so this is all about the frontal end let's talk about the cladding which this car has so you can have a look at the overall uh, side view of this car so it is finished with uh, body cladding plastic body cladding all around which enhances the overall look etc uh, obviously and it also gets roof rails in this climber variant with orange accents again so that again enhances the overall finish of this car and this also has plastic door handles so these are normal conventional door handles which are not finished in chrome but these do complement the overall rugged and sporty theme of this car so they have uh, been finished in body uh, in in this black finished plastic finish itself so guys this is the ezr variant which uh, is which does come with a 1000 cc three cylinder engine so i have already told you about so this car is the top end variant which is also called the climber variant and let's have a look at the daytime running lamps also these so these are these beautiful stunning daytime running lamps which absolutely make the car look bold from the frontal end and this is a very well accepted change in this car because most cars in the indian market are equipped with daytime running lamps and this uh, lower headlamp setup with this drl split Based above the headlamp is a modern design language which is opted by many car companies in India, so that is again a plus point. 
सो गाइज लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द इंटीरियर फर्स्ट सो लेट मी जस्ट ओपन द डोर फॉर यू एंड द डोर ओपन क्वाइट वाइट सो देर बी नो प्रॉब्लम इन इनग्रेसिंग इन टू द वहीकल एंड लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द डोर क्वालिटी फर्स्ट सो दिस हैज अ क्रोम डोर हैंडल ऑन ऑफर विच मेक्स द कार लुक अ लॉट मोर प्रीमियम फ्रॉम द इंटीरियर एंड दिस इज दिस ऑरेंज एक्सेंट विच रन अलॉन्ग एज द थीम ऑफ दिस कैबिन सो दैट इज अनदर वेरी गुड डिजाइन एलिमेंट एंड दिस हैज दिस कन्वेंशन लॉक एंड अनलॉक बटन विच यू डू सी इन ओल्डर कार्स बट दिस इज ऑल्सो अ डिजाइन एलिमेंट एंड देर इज ऑल्सो दिस small cubby hole and this 1 liter bottle holder with another document holder offered on the door so there's nothing much on the door so let's just get straight into the car so these are these climber themed um, orange um, fabric seat covers so these are uh, dual tone with black and orange inserts and the seat it does have this recline option and can also be adjusted uh, and slided but does not have any uh, height adjustment function Also, guys, this car does not have any keyless start or push button start, so it does have this manual key option. So you can see there is the keyhole, and it does get the normal Renault key fob. So let me just uh, give you an overview of the dashboard first. So as you can see, this dashboard is pretty large. And earlier, Renault provided a dual dash setup. So this had a cubby hole on the upper half of the dashboard also. But now it has been substituted with the Squid branding because uh, because it did have some quality issues. So this is a good move by Renault in the facelifted version, and it uh, does have uh, a single dash setup now. So the cabin is inside is quite large. So it, uh, the thing is quite deep inside. So you can. Put a large amount of stuff over here. So let's talk about the steering wheel now. So the steering wheel uh, feels a lot more premium because it does have a flat bottom steering wheel. And uh, if you talk about the overall feel uh, of the steering wheel, it feels a lot more better in quality than the earlier Quid, which I have also reviewed on my channel. And the there are no steering mounted controls on offer, but you do get this black uh, glossy finish over here. Now let's talk about the overall uh, instrumental cluster. So the er early instrumental cluster did not have an RPM meter and was a full digital speedometer display, but now this does have a, a RPM meter and is similar to the Renault Triber, and it also has these warning lights etc. which are offered in every car. And there is this large MID also. So this is again a good move by Renault because uh, earlier it did not have any MID and only a single speedometer cluster, but it does have a speedometer cluster as well as an RPM meter too. Now uh, let me just show you the infotainment system. So this infotainment system for uh, such a price bracket is a boon for this car and many people get attracted to this car because of this infotainment system too because it does have android auto as well as apple carplay and it does have this glossy finish which runs around the dash uh, the bordering of the screen and also has this orange accent over here now uh, let me just give you an overview of this of this infotainment system only so there are a few warning lights which you can hear but on switching on the cabin over here i'll be let me just reduce the over the volume so if you have a look at the uh, volume uh, the infotainment system so first you have this phone option over here and uh, this does have some connection problem because this is a brand new car but you can have a look at the basic settings of this uh, screen which does have uh, aux usb as well as bluetooth and apple carplay as well as android auto connectivity so i'll just switch this off and there is also this voice command button offered over here and let's talk about the power window buttons over here so this uh, card the facelift version does have rear power windows itself so these are the front two power window controls but you cannot control the rear power windows from the frontal end this is lock unlock button this is the hazard light button now let me come to the ac control so these are manual ac controls which uh, do feel a market in quality and the quality used is not cheap at all this is the ac button over here this is the blow speed which you can uh, the uh, which you can control obviously this is the, the conventional setup and there is also space over here so you can see have a look at the space two cup holders and the space over here and there is this 12 volt charging socket as well as um, a usb socket as well as an aux input over here which is a very good thing a plus point for this car now this car is the easy r variant so this car is the automatic automatic variant so you can have a look at the dial also so the dial has been shifted to the center console itself and it makes it look a lot more neater so you can have a look at the uh, three options over here which is reverse uh, neutral and drive and this makes the uh, driving in city a lot more comfortable and convenient so that is again a plus point on renault's part 
so these are circular ac vents which are rotatory and you can have a look at the ac vents over here too so these are two ac vents over the infotainment screen there is one ac vent over here now let's talk about the sun visor so this sun visor is relatively small but does the job well and does not have any mirror on it and this is the reading lamp and this is the uh, this is the uh, passenger sun visor now uh, let me just tell you about the safety features which this car has so this car has two airbags which is two passenger and driver airbags abs as well as ebd so like guys let me just give you an overview from the rear seating experience of this car so the front seat has been set to my height and i am of uh, five feet and eight inches so you can have a look at the space i have so this is the amount of knee room i have i won't say it's ample but it's enough for a, a height of about six feet uh, of people about uh, six feet and, and could be a problem for taller passengers but headroom will not be a problem as you can see i have ample amount of headroom and under thigh support is also good so it won't be a problem again one thing to note here is that uh, there are no seat pockets on offer so that could be uh, something which uh, which is low in practicality but uh, as you can see there are no uh, cubby holes or storing spaces over here but the space is uh, ample for two adults and one child i would say because uh, the floor bed is absolutely flat so this car is ample uh, has ample space for about uh, four adults and one child i would say now let me just give you an overview of the door over here so this does have orange accents the chrome door handle and this car has power windows so the earlier quit did not have power windows in the rear seat but this does have power windows in the rear seat too which is again a very good practicality feature and let me just give you an overview of the seat belts also so these are two retractable seat belts which Renault has offered and there are two fixed headrests also so the fixed headrests are uh, for the passengers also so uh, Renault has not provided movable headrests but uh, it's okay for a car of this size and there is also this handrest on offer so smaller cars usually do not have handrests but this car does so this is again a plus point and i would say that the cabin does not feel very claustrophobic because even though the ca cabin is uh, finished in black color because of these large uh, window lines so the cabin feels quite airy and it won't be a problem for seating four adults and one child so guys uh, let me just give you a rear overview of this car so if you look at the rear end it does not have many changes from the uh, older variant but uh, you can see there is oh uh, there are be a bit of tweaks in the rear hair tail light so you can see a bit of led has been used here over here it which obviously makes the car look a uh, more lot more fresher and there is also this vertical reflector placed on either ends of the bumper and uh, there is also this crease line kind of effect given on the uh, rear fender now let me just give you an overview of the wipers so there are no rear wipers no defogger on offer but uh, you can uh, also look uh, have a look at the safety features offered so this is the reverse camera which has been mounted uh, inside the Renault logo so this is again a smart move by Renault and this is all the quote branding over here and this is the Renault and EZR branding so this is the automatic variant which I've already told you about so this is the EZR branding Having a look at the rear bumper of this car, so it does have this diffuser kind of finish with orange accents on offer and this plastic finish which again makes the car look rugged and uh, complements to the overall rugged theme of this car and on opening the bo on opening the boot of this car, so you can have a look, this is a relatively large boot because it uh, opens up to about 278 litres of boot space and it also has this parcel tray which is removable and there is also 12 volt charging socket on offer which is again a plus point for this car, so if you look at this uh, uh, boot space offered over here you can easily store uh, two large suitcases and one small duffel bag kind of thing so it would it, it it is quite practical because the loading lip is also not very high so it increases the overall practicality of this boot so the rear end of this car does feature many sa uh, the safety features of uh, four parking sensors also so there are parking sensors placed on the lower bumper and there is also a reverse parking camera so which is compatible with the touchscreen infotainment system which is offered in this car so guys, thank you for watching this video. Please like, share, subscribe and also comment down your suggestions below. And do forget follow me on Instagram that is the car show underscore by Arjolly. And the link to my other videos would be in the description box below or in the i button above. So you can go check those videos out. And if you have any qu queries regarding the Quaid or any other cars in the Indian market, you can always ping me in my mailbox. So my, uh, my mail IDs and contact details on my Instagram handle would be in the description box below. Thank you for watching this video.